Hello folks, in today's video we will learn about the while loop in Python. I'll show you some simple code examples to help you understand how it works. Plus, there will be a few short quizzes to help you practice what you learn. But before we start with the while loop, let's quickly understand what loops are in Python. In programming, there are many times when we need to repeat a set of instructions. For example, if we want to print numbers from 1 to 100, writing 100 print statements would be tiring and take a lot of time. This is where loops help us. They let us repeat a code until we reach our goal, like printing numbers from 1 to 100. This not only saves time, but also makes our code simple and easy to read. In Python, there are two types of loop, for loop and while loop. In this video, we are going to learn about the while loop. So, what is a while loop in Python? A while loop repeatedly executes a block of code as long as a given condition is true. Once the condition becomes false, the loop stops. So for example, let's say we want to print numbers from 1 to 5 using a while loop. We can start by setting a variable, let's call it number, and set it to 1 because we want to start from 1. Then, we write a while loop that says, while the number is less than or equal to 5, print the number. We use less than or equal to because if we don't, it will only print numbers up to 4. Alright, let's run this code and see what happens. Oh wait, stop! It keeps going on and only printing one, but why? Well, let me first stop this. Do you remember when I said a while loop keeps running as long as the condition is true? Well, here our condition is true because we set a number less than or equal to five, and since we started at one, it's always true. There's nothing here to make it false, which is why the loop keeps repeating forever. It's stuck in an infinite loop. To fix this, we need to change the value of the number inside the loop. We'll do this by adding a number equals number plus one. This way, the number keeps increasing by one each time the loop runs. Now when we run the code again, it prints numbers from one to five and then stops. So, what's happening here is, at the start, the value is one, so it prints one. Then, it adds one to the number, making it two. The loop runs again, printing two, and then the number becomes three. This keeps going until the number becomes 6, which makes the condition false. When that happens, the loop stops. That's how simple it is to work with a while loop in Python. You just need to make sure that the condition will become false at some point. If it doesn't, your code will keep running and get stuck in an infinite loop. Now let's solve a quick quiz. The question is, print the table of 911 using a while loop. It's very easy, so let's quickly do it. First, we'll set a variable called num equal to 911 because we want to print the table of 911. Then, we'll create another variable called i and set it to 1. This i is our counter that will help us keep track of the numbers we are multiplying by. Next, we write the while loop like this. While i is less than or equal to 10, we'll print the multiplication using an f string. In the f string, we'll put curly brackets for num, then a multiplication sign, then curly brackets for i, and finally, an equal sign followed by the calculation, which is num multiplied by i. To avoid an infinite loop, we need to update i each time the loop runs. So, at the end of the loop, we'll add i plus equals 1. This will increase i by 1 after each multiplication, helping us move to the next number. Now when I run this code, it prints the table of 911 effortlessly. This is a simple usage of a while loop, and with this, I hope you understand the basic functionality. Now let's talk about the break and continue keywords, which we use in loops. First, let's understand the continue keyword. Here we have a list of fruits, and we want to print each fruit using a while loop, but we don't want to print elderberry. To do this, we can use the continue keyword in our code, because the continue keyword skips the current iteration of the loop and moves to the next one. So, we will start by setting i equal to zero. Then, we run a while loop as long as i is less than the length of the list. Inside the loop, we check if the current fruit is elderberry. If it is, we increase i and use continue. This skips elderberry and moves to the next fruit. For all other fruits, we print their names and then increase i to move to the next one. When we run this code, it prints all the fruits except elderberry. That's because the continue keyword tells the loop to skip elderberry and go straight to the next iteration. Now let's talk about the break keyword, which we use in loops. It helps us stop the loop early based on a condition. We will use the same example, but this time the conditions will be different. Suppose we want to print the fruit names only until we reach elderberry. And when we hit elderberry,
the loop should stop and exit. To do this, we don't need to change much in the code. We simply replace the continue keyword with a break. When we run this code, it prints the fruits one by one until it reaches elderberry. At that point, the loop stops completely and no more fruits are printed. That's because the break keyword exits the loop as soon as the condition is met. I hope you found this video helpful. Now I need a small favor from you. If this video brought some value to your life, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Also, if you liked the video, think of it as sending a little prayer to the algorithm. And if you share it with your friends, the algorithm will be even happier. And when the algorithm is happy, I'm happy too. Thank you so much for watching.